Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Patricia and today we are going through the fruity part of the catalog. There's a lot, as you can see, I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible because with a lot of these, they've been around for a minute. We're all familiar. I'm just kind of doing this to refresh my own nose and let's just get started. So the first one is a peeling apple. It is juicy apple, pear, and sweet pea. This is a nice fresh apple scent. It's not as kind of juicy as um, Johnny Appleseed, which I know is also in here. You know what, let's just go ahead and just jump right to Johnny Appleseed while we're talking about it. Um, do I have Johnny Appleseed? I do not see Johnny Appleseed. Now in this transition kit of testers, you don't get the full um, catalog of fragrances. So some of these are not here and Johnny Appleseed looks to be one that is not in this kit. But Johnny Appleseed is a different apple scent. Uh, this one is almost more of like a floral apple and that's because of that sweet pea and pear. So it's a sweet apple, but it's not like that fresh cut. You just cut the apple in half and you can smell the juices and, you know, the um, peel of the apple. So that is a peeling apple. Next we have Apple Teeny Splash and this one is yet again, it's another fresh, kind of almost a floral apple scent. It's it's nice. It's almost like an aquatic apple scent, if that makes any sense. It is apple, pear, and simple syrup. So it's giving you that apple teeny drink type of scent. It's nice. I do enjoy it. So that's apple teeny splash. Next we have apricot or apricot vanilla. Uh, people love this scent. For me, it's just kind of, eh. Um, I, I can't get down with the apricot. So this scent is just, you know, eh for me. So it is heirloom peach. That's what it is. It's that peach. Heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream. It's the peach note for me that makes it like, eh. Next up is Berry Bright. Um. Everybody was so happy when this became a catalog scent. And for a lot of people, um, before Blueberry Rush came back as they bring back my bar and everybody had a chance to get it, this was kind of the fix. It was like the hack. Because it smells just like blueberry. Really, really great bar. This was giving me my blueberry until I was able to secure Blueberry Rush. So this is... Blue raspberry, clementine, and sugar plum. Even though it says there is no blueberry in it, it does give off a blueberry vibe. So if you like blueberries, give Berry Bright a try. Next up is black raspberry vanilla. It's a bestseller. It's been around since like day one. I don't have a tester of it, but uh, it is dark berries and vanilla. We have it in the laundry line. It is awesome. Beautiful scent. And a lot of people have said, which I have per um, personally seen, is that if you have a wax bar that has a lot of grit and stuff in it, like a lot of the fall scents that have like the cinnamon in it, and you get that little dirt and grit and grime um, from that scent at the bottom, if you put dark dark raspberry, black raspberry vanilla in behind it. It will soak up all that um, kind of grittiness. So when you clean the wax out, then um, that grittiness will come out with the black raspberry vanilla. When you change your wax, I have seen it and it is the truth. Next we have blue agave and melon. I do not remember this one. Eh. You guys know I'm not the melon girl either. This gives me melon right off the bat. So I'm just, it's a pass for me. So it is blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. Yeah. 
Next we have Camu Camu. This is another no for me because it's a very kind of tropical 10,000 fruits mixed together scent. Uh, no, I actually kind of like this one. Hmm. See, that's why I do this again because this, I automatically was thinking like skinny dipping vibes, but this is pretty nice. I am shocked. Camu Camu, it is Mandarin Camu Camu and Passion Fruit. This is why I stroll through the catalog, because you forget sometimes. Cloudberry Dreams, this is a super loud fragrance. If you want something loud that'll blow your wig and toupee back, this is it. It's a nice, loud, fruity scent. I like it. Um, I haven't used it in a while, though. It is really loud. Um, this one is Raspberry, Rose, Peach, and Vanilla. Next, we have Go Go Mango, and I am currently warming this right now. It is a fl um, fruity floral um, scent. Um, you guys know I just got the collection. That, that video has dropped already. It will be the video before you see this one, so check it out. Go Go Mango is mango, melon, hibiscus, and banana flower. Next up is Johnny Appleseed, which I have told you I do not have a tester of, but it is a wonderful apple scent. It's crisp, it's fresh, it's clean. We've had it in cleaning products. We've had bricks of it. It is absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance to try it, get it. It is just picked Mac Macintosh pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. I do not get the pear, I just get fresh cut apple. Next is Mahalo Coconut. Here we go. And this is pretty, but it's kind of light. But people like swear by this one. I feel like I need to get it though. It's really pretty, it's a light coconut. It's not that suntan, you know, baking in the sun type of coconut scent. It's very fresh and light. So this is Hawaiian Lei Violet Pineapple and Coconut. Really pretty, I need to keep this one out so I can, um, maybe I'll put it in the bathroom or something. I am using my testers, I have finally started using my testers like in the bathrooms because you know as a consultant you just get so many bags of them and a lot of times they are repeat so it's like i need to start using these up so either i'm going to start putting them in the bathrooms where i can just throw this whole thing in there or even in the bedroom because i have one warmer in my bedroom start using these up next is um uh, well, Mango Matcha is the new one, and I just did a video sniffing that out. Um, it is Mango Nectar, Matcha Sorbet, Salted Cucumber, and Pure Sugar Cane. Next is Pina Colada Cha-Cha. So, Pina Colada Cha-Cha is... It smells just like a Pina Colada drink. Like, if you have drank the drink, this is what the wax smells like. It is dead on. So it is coconut, pineapple, white rum, and vanilla bean. Smells just like the drink. Um, pink rhubarb sugar. It's a sweet, um, very sweet sugary scent. I like it. So this one is pink rhubarb, sparkling raspberry, and sugar. Next is Rainbow Red. So I'm happy that they incorporated the um, two scents out of that rainbow collection of scents. They are now catalog items. So this is red, and I believe it smelled like a strawberry, I think. Yeah, like a candy strawberry, I think. Wasn't my favorite out of the uh, rainbow collection, but it, it was good. Um, it is 
soft watermelon, cherry, and strawberry. So that's rainbow bread. Next is rainbow sherbet. And that one I think smelled like fruit punch. Yeah. A lot of people love this one as well. It is giving you straight up fruit, oops, fruit punch. So it is orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime. Next, we have, well, this is the new one. That is the raspberry hibiscus tea. That's the one I told you kind of gave me um, vibes of a weaker version of winterberry apple tea. It is wild raspberry, hibiscus petals, and elderberry sugar. Next is ruby nectarine. Um, have that one right here. And it is obviously a citrus scent, citrusy scent. Um, fruity with just a whisper of um, citrus to me. So it is ruby, um, juicy nectarine, ruby apple, and pear blossom. Um, next we are on the second page, y'all. Um, skinny dipping. <sighs> I'm not a big fan of this one. It just to me it smells like about eleven thousand fruits mixed together. Yeah, not my cup of tea. People love this. I mean, it comes in a brick, so you already know. Skinny dipping is green apple, melons, and juicy pears. Like I said, about 11,000 of them. Next is star apple and freesia. I do not remember what this smells like. Let's see. It's a pretty apple. This is nice. I forgot what this one smelled like. Okay, a very pretty apple scent. So this one, and I'm guessing that's because of the freesia. Um, it is star apple, mango, and pink freesia. That is really pretty. I need to sit this one aside also. Next is sugared strawberry. If you ever wanted a strong um, strawberry scent, this is it. It is amazing. Mmm. Now, a lot of people say this is a, a candied strawberry, so it's not your fresh, authentic strawberry. It's like a candied strawberry, but it's really strong. It is just giving you spring and summer vibes, like on 10,000. It is strawberries, currants, and California kissed lemons. All I smell is like a candied strawberry scent. It's amazing, strong as all outdoors, excellent mixer. Next is Summer Moonlight. I remember that was one of my favorites last year, but I think it was on the lighter side. Yeah, it's very light. Pretty simple, very light. Pretty romantic, kind of bedroomy scent. Y'all know how it go. So this one is um, strawberry, sweet pea, and shimmering sandalwood. So, it's a light one. Um, tropic nectar. This is one of the new scents. It is tropical fruit nectar, coconut milk, and golden agave. The last two. Now, this is the other vitamin. This was unwind. Um, uh, what did I say? There were two. See, now I'm confused. There were not two rainbow I think there are two rainbow scents, but the other rainbow I think is in the citrus. Never mind. I'm just going too fast. And okay, vitamin U unwind. So I think I like this one. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Mm hmm Soft scent, really soft, kind of um body spray type. Pretty scent, very pretty. So this one is um, apple blossom, cucumber peel, and spa water. That is really pretty. And the last one on the list is watermelon tangerine. I do not remember what this smells like. It is listed as a bestseller. So let's see what the best smeller smells like.
It's a very muted kind of watermelon scent. So it's not really giving you that fresh cut watermelon. And I'm not really getting like a um, citrusy tangerine either. It almost smells like a candy, like a bubble gum that would be watermelon flavor. It's a very subdued smelling bar. So if you're adverse to either of those, the watermelon or the tangerine, I think this is middle of the road enough where, um, you know, it's blended just so. So it's like really muted kind of in the background. Um, this one is watermelon slices, juicy tangerine and dewy greens. So that's it. I tried to keep it as short and quick as possible because we had a lot to get through. So let me know if any of these are your favorites, your ride or dies, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.